I wanted to say something about this thoughts and prayers thing, which is every time I hear it, I get so freaking irritated, especially as a person of faith and as a Christian. Let me give you an example. Damar Hamlin goes down, right? He goes down on the field. Everybody offers their thoughts and prayers. What happens if somebody's standing on the field and said, no, 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 no paramedics. Well, we're offering thoughts and prayers. Do not try to resuscitate him. And then the medical ambulance comes and they say, no, 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 no. We're giving him thoughts and prayers. And then all of a sudden we look at it. We could have, we could have done all these things that we knew exactly what to do. Damar Hanlon passes away. And we're like, well, we offered him thoughts and prayers. That's exactly what we're doing with gun violence. Thoughts and prayers require action. And until we follow thoughts and prayers with action, we're going to keep we're going to keep having these deaths after deaths after deaths across the country. And it's a uniquely American exceptionalistic thing. Not that we're saving lives, but lies are dying violently. And it's only in America.